What's going on everybody, Sambo here. Welcome back to Semi Vostok. Today we are going to be completely redoing a huge big town center. Obviously in this huge big empty rectangle right here. It's going to be really full of billboards, lots of people and things like that. Let's get into it. A lot to do in this episode. So here we go. So we're going to be starting with this big red building and we're also going to be using a few other similar big red buildings that are already in our city. So I'm taking these ones from over here because you can't actually place them a second time. You can only copy and paste them, you know what I mean? But the reason why I chose these ones is because they have this really wonky shape and there's different curves and things like that and to me... That is, that's just really unique and really interesting and it gives us something really cool to work with so definitely I was really um, I really wanted to make this area kind of curvy and wavy uh, I didn't want to make it just just fill it in with big with some big buildings and do some boring little plazas so I didn't want to do that so we're going to have a lot of pedestrian friendly roads throughout this whole area lots of different angles lots of little things going on and um, in the end we're going to put in a whole bunch of people generators to make it look even more lively and it ends up turning out really really cool Probably one of the bigger changes for this whole area is I actually completely removed this four lane road that goes along here. Um, the reason being is because it kind of disrupted the whole vibe that I was going for because with the town centre you kind of want it to be pedestrian friendly, kind of relaxing and just not too hectic in terms of having to wait for um, like traffic lights, crossings and things like that. So um, all of the heavy traffic can be diverted into other options. They have different ways and um, the traffic on that existing uh, four lane road wasn't too bad anyway. So we could get away with actually removing that as well. So yeah, just by removing that, it's going to make it a lot more pedestrian friendly. We do have the huge avenue on the other side see at the top of the screen and we also have the elevated highway so you'll notice I'm going to put in a lot of large buildings that completely block out the whole uh, the whole look of the elevated highway and the big boulevard road there because I don't want that associated with this whole big new pedestrian friendly plaza town city center area you know what I mean so we want to block all of that out and just make it a little bit more quieter as well so we do have the subway station right there and also, I just had to remove the monorail just because I wanted to adjust something a little bit behind, but um, I put that back uh, off camera, so don't worry about where that is. So, I don't know if you guys just caught what I was doing there, but I was downgrading the four lane road, and so now we have only pedestrian friendly roads. And I just wanted to do that because those pedestrian roads, they are only cement, so you can really blend them in, you can overlap them with different pathways which is what I will do, some pedestrian pathways. And it just looks it just looks really good like that. So yeah, we're getting a bit of a curve going on here. We're getting a bit of a flow. Um, so the flow, the roads kind of flow back towards the subway station there. Um, also, you might notice some of these roads have dead ends. I specifically did that because I don't want to encourage the use of cars in this area. But I do end up uh, removing some of the allowance for um, just normal cars in this area. So again, I'm putting in another one of these big red curvy crazy Really interesting shaped buildings. They just look really cool So we have a little bus stop there down on the main Boulevard Road That's why we have a little bit of a, a square roundabout thing right there um, So again, we want to make sure everything is really really connected those big red buildings. They're actually only um, They don't they're not an office or commercial or anything like that like that they're just a big leisure building but I think that one that I just put down is a office building now this one here I know that some of you are gonna be like Sam what are you doing no but I chose this building because I thought it would kind of be a little bit iconic and I wanted to see how it all looked at night to see if there was lighting on it like it said on the on the workshop but the lights don't appear for some reason which that's that's slack because the lighting looked really good on the workshop pictures, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, yeah, um, I chose that big building just because I wanted it to be very, you know, unique to the area and, and it can be a big landmark as well. 
Yes, so again, we are going to be blocking out the main road there with some big office buildings. So now we kind of have this little enclosed area. So it's it's just really blocking out all of the main roads. And then this fountain here, I love this fountain because it works. It has a little sequence, it goes up, down, it's really, really cool. I thought it's it's actually just a great centerpiece. Look at that. Look at it go. Oh my god, that is awesome because it's really hard to find fountains on the workshop that actually work. So there we go, you guys. Love it. If you want to know what that is, just let me know and I'll find the name for it. I'm sure some of you would like to know. And actually, with that fountain, people can still walk through it. And you'll notice throughout this video, people will walk through. And for some reason, some people also walk on top of the roofs of the red building. Don't ask me why. So if you do see that, you see some wacky stuff going on in here. I don't know. Maybe because I just allowed the recreational use of that stuff. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Maybe there's a mod issue. Not sure. So like I said... So like I said, there's going to be a lot of different little areas in this whole area, in this whole little city center. Uh, I didn't want it to be one huge open space and very grid-like because that's boring. So we want to maximize the space as much as possible. And the easiest way to maximize it is to break it up into little areas and put multiple different little things, basically multiple different little areas. So we have the fountain area, for example, we have the garden area there with the hedges. We will have a seating area with food trucks. We'll have another one with um, seating areas with the shade cloth over the top. And um, yeah, we also put in a few little cafes. We have this area over here with some walkways and planters um, and plants. It's going to have a lot of little different things. The only area that I really didn't go into detail with is actually in between all of the red buildings. I don't know why. I just felt like I didn't want to. I, I, I don't know. So all of the detail is focused more on the outer open areas because that's because that's where we're more likely to actually look when we actually look around in this area. So we're at the bus stop area. I thought if you're waiting for your bus, maybe you can sit down and have a, a little coffee there at the cafe. Um, and yeah, that road there, that is a dead end road. So yes, I am aware that is on purpose. I also go through and put in some little shop fronts. So you can see like these ones right here. So I go through, put a whole bunch of those in just to make it more lively. So here they are. Um, I just place them down on the normal grid and um, they align perfectly and then you just move them into place and then I copy them and paste them in various other areas just to, you know, just brighten up the area. And if you compare these to, if you look at my last video, which was all about the city center pack, whatever it's called, a lot of those buildings have the commercial on the ground level and then they have a lot of space on top, which is still commercial, but it's supposed to be offices. So that's what I really wanted to uh, replicate here because that is quite realistic and it looks good. I really do think it's important to have green green space in your city because, I mean, it, it has been studied, it's proven to have a lot of um, benefits as well, but I really do just like to have a good mixture of like planters and cemented areas and green space and just open grass area. It makes it really, really awesome. And you can see here, I'm just removing some of the car allowances. So all of the other vehicles can come through. I'm just not allowing the normal cars because I don't want people to be driving their normal car in through here. Um, but yeah, all of the other types of buildings, emergency, hearses, whatever, garbage trucks, they can all still come in here and go about the normal businesses. I could just turn all of those off and then completely ban all vehicles in here. But yeah, I like to have the vehicles going in and around. It makes it a little bit more interesting. In terms of the building heights, there are a lot of larger buildings in this area, but I specifically didn't want to put in anymore because I didn't want to make this area super, super shady because it is shady already. So putting in more larger buildings would probably not be that great. So I wanted to keep it nice and open so the sun can come in and just it just looks better with when there's a little bit of sun coming down in on it. So let's finish up everything and let's go have a look at the end 
product. And here we go. I like it. I like the red buildings because it's a nice contrast. If you look at all of my other buildings, they're generally white or gray or like a just a darker plain color. So it's a nice it's nice to have this this red bold boldness in here and also a big green patch as well. So here we are, look at that. A lot of large buildings, right? But I put in a whole bunch of people generators. You'll see some of them are still flocking in, walking through the fountains. Keep a lookout for people walking on. Oh, there's one walking on the on the roof. There she goes, and then she's coming back down. So yeah, a lot of people generators just to make it more lively. People walking around everywhere. I ended up putting in just a few more little trees and planters and seating areas as well, uh, just because I thought it needed to be filled in just a little bit more. Um, this is the subway area and um, the bus stop is actually right next to the subway so it's really really well connected. This part over here next to the bus stop is pretty, it's a bit of a ghost town actually. No one comes over and uses this area probably because it's easier to get the subway and the bus which are right next to each other. Um, I don't know if you saw but there's a large building that actually goes over the top of the road which is really really cool. We have a little parking lot there which probably is always going to be really really packed and busy. You'd never find a park there that's for sure. But anyway, um, this is a nice little addition to our city and it definitely brightens it up with our colour. Yeah, you can see some vehicles still come in there. That's alright just as long as it's not too busy. And that fountain is so awesome. Look at that. And also I put in some billboards just to liven it up a little bit. So there we go, you guys. We now have a new city center. Semi Vostok is almost done. It's almost there. And the people love it. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all very soon with another video.